Hello guys, it's Pablo Andres here from Mamaya Electronics and today we'll be reviewing this awesome guy which is the 3 torsion pedal designed and produced by Amaya Electronics in Armenia, Colombia one of the coffee regions in the middle of the mountains so let's dive into it right away now we'll be playing my guitars through the pedal straight to the amp this is a real weird amp and it's better for you to know it's a really old amp, it's a tube amp that used to be a radio so it's got uh, two uh, gain tubes and two power tubes and that's it uh, so it's gonna sound like a Fender Twin Reverb or something like that but without the reverb this amp is running through this cabinet which is also an Amaya Electronics model uh, which is loaded with uh, one single uh, vintage 30s Celestion speaker alright uh, Shure SM57 to my interface and my Logic Pro that's it so let's check out the pedal Alright, so let's see how it works uh, on the edit mode. Okay, um, right now we have uh, the first distortion, let's say the first channel, if you, if you will, active in play mode. So to edit that channel, you just press the knob, and then now you're editing the first parameter, which is the gain. Alright, so you can increase that's the maximum gain or you can decrease the gain something like in the middle right or you can definitely uh, you know set it all the way down to the lowest configuration and you have basically this, this crunchy sound that we all love. So right now I'm playing with my bridge pickup on, on the humbucker configuration. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my uh, neck pickup with single coil configuration. Volume all the way up, tones all the way up. And this is how it sounds like. So let's continue with the next configuration. I'm gonna set the gain all the way up again. Go back to Kambokar. A little bit less than Max. Then the second parameter is the tone, all right? So you can make it brighter or bassier. Right now it's somewhere between the middle. So if I increase it, it's gonna be brighter. But if I decrease it, it's gonna be darker. So there's a variety of tones that you can choose from. And next, the third parameter is volume, all right? So for example, if you are setting up a, a rhythm uh, effect, then somewhere between, somewhere between the middle, it's fine. Then if you're going to set up the, a lead uh, sound or a lead, a lead effect, then you set it up a little higher. 
and it sounds louder. As you can see, there's a wide range of, of volume. This is the minimum volume. And this is going to blow my amplifier, but it's okay. This is the maximum. Really <laughs> loud. And it doesn't lose. It doesn't lose any clarity. It's still the same. So you can really take advantage of this. If you wanna, um, if you wanna be on top of the mix in a lead part, that's the way to go. Okay. So we push the knob one more time, and then it saves that. All right. So that's what we save. Now if we push the right button and, and keep it pushed one second, then it takes us to the next effect, right? Which right now I have set up as a really clean, really clean sound, which I use for for some of my songs. have it and edit uh, everything is exactly the same you push the knob then you edit again you push the knob again you edit the tone then you push again you edit the uh, volume okay and that's it same for the third one which right now I have it extra loud because I use it for lead parts I'm not a great guitar player <laughs> and one of the highlights of this pedal is the MIDI capability. As you can see here at the left side, it has a MIDI port. In that there's two versions of this pedal. The version number one allows to control other MIDI devices. And so it acts like a MIDI controller in this case. And when you switch the effect on the pedal, then the other device would switch also. The version two, which is mine, which I cannot demo right now because I don't have some of my MIDI devices here, or I don't have my MIDI controller here allows me to control this pedal with a MIDI controller. That means that on my MIDI controller, I set three different effects in three different patches. And then when I call that patch, then it will automatically uh, activate the, the preset on this pedal uh, that I want. And that way you can, you know, you can have this pedal uh, in the back as I use it. I never use any of my pedals up front. I hate that. Uh, I know most of you guys love having your pedal boards in, in, in your, on your feet. That's fine, that's totally fine. Most people do that actually because it's more fun. Uh, you can use you know, this device alone, just how it is, as a single effect pedal or as a three effects pedal. And that way you can decide which, one, which of the three sounds is gonna come up on the amp. And there you go, you're ready to rock, okay? So guys, that's it, thank you for watching. Uh, remember, if you want to subscribe to my channel, just press subscribe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uploading new videos uh, uh, hopefully every week. Also, um, there's a link in the description of this video uh, for you to subscribe to my electronic new releases. This pedal that I have right here is a prototype and uh, it is already the final version, which is a little cooler, at least in design and everything. Uh, it's already in production and will be ready to ship within a couple of weeks. So if you wanna pre-order or, or just you know ask anything about it, subscribe in the bottom, in the link below in the description of this video and we will contact you. I hope you liked and enjoyed this pedal as much as I do. See you guys next time. And remember, Amaya Electronics, Colombia, we ship worldwide if you are interested in this pedal, okay? Bye-bye.